up, Matt from Ochoab here. In this video I'm going to be starting the Mini for the first time and I'm just running through the setup of my AIM PDM. Right, so I've got my oil cooler sorted. Went to like a plant machinery place which someone recommended. Got a hose done, it's a bit quite heavy duty but it does the trick. Taking the plugs out, I just cranked it over and I've now got oil pressure so I'm just going to let the oil settle and um, check the oil level again. I've used this which is uh, really thick, it's like pouring treacle into your engine. Sit that on there with some fuel in it, pipe it straight to this, rig that up. We should be able to hear it go, it's, um, there's no exhaust on it. There's no breathers on it, so I don't know if it's going to just start firing oil out everywhere. Uh, so it's going to be noisy and potentially oily. Right, so that was awesome to hear the uh, engine running. It sounds really snappy when you rev it up. It's really free revving and um, sounds like a race engine should. I was quite surprised at how well it just idled even from cold. Well, I just wasn't expecting that from a race engine with a big carb on it. If you're interested in having an engine like this built, then uh, this one was done by John at Specialist Components and uh, they do all sorts of road engines, race engines, twin cams, seven ports. If you're looking to have something built, give him a shout. I'm now going to run through um, how I've set my PDM up and all the different functions and sort of safety features that I've now added to this. I'm just going to run through some of the setup and just show you how much you can actually do with uh, one of these. These are all my outputs. This is an eight output PDM. So this is my water pump and this is how I've got it set up to work. So if my temperature gauge reads higher than zero and my RPM is greater than 500, my water pump will be on at 30%. So if the engine's running, when it's cold, it will circulate at 30%. If the temperature is above 60, it will ramp up to 60%. But it will also do that even if the engine isn't running. So if the car is sat and the temp is still at 60%, it will continue to run the water pump. If the temperature is greater than 80 degrees, the water pump will ramp up to 100%. And then at the top, I also have an override button because all this is obviously working off the temperature sensor. If something was to ever go wrong or I just want to run the water pump, I can press my water pump button and that will override everything and it will turn my water pump onto 100%. I've also added this little green light on the uh, dash so that I know my water pump's running. So if for any reason that goes out while I'm driving, I know there's an issue and I can uh, just press the button to override it. Another cool thing that you can do is I can <clears throat> go to my 
live measures temperature click on this and I can force channel value I can put a value into here above the range I've set it to come on at so if I put this in at 70 degrees so it thinks I'm at 70 degrees you can hear that's come on my little water pump light has come on if I ramp this up to 100 degrees you can hear it's come on to 100% I can also come down here check that my water pump is running at 100% here you can check how many amps it's drawing so that then I can set the amperage of that circuit I need to verify the one that works off at RPM as well so it's the temperature is now 19 degrees it's reading the water temp so if I increase the RPM above 500 it should also come on which it does you can hear that you'll notice there I've got a little uh, fuel light so I've set my um, so my fuel pump is just set to come on when the engine is over 50 rpm so when it's cranking my fuel pump will turn on if it's running anything above 50 the uh, fuel pumps gonna turn on so as long as I've got a green fuel thing green water pump thing while I'm driving I know those are on and uh, obviously if they go out and I've got some issue that's gonna point me in the right direction uh, this is my low oil pressure warning have my different alarms I've got one for water temp one for oil temp one for low voltage for my oil pressure I've also added in all these flashing LEDs just so that it's really in your face if I've got low oil pressure this is going to catch my eye I've also got my shift lights set up so if I force this RPM value these are my, you see my shift lights working 10,000 that'll start really uh, flashing at me I can force my oil pressure value to make sure that goes out and yeah I can, I can basically run through any of the things that I've got set up and make sure that they're doing what they should and that way you can know it's all going to work as it should before you've even run the car so yeah just wanted to show how how much this thing can do uh, initially I always thought PDM was just a uh, you know an alternative to a fuse board um, but with this system with the login the lap timing and how configurable everything is you know you, you really can do a lot with this that's gonna be it for this video cheers for watching see you on the next one